You were a no vote today on a motion to vacate. You now have an interim speaker. What happens next? Uh, well, we're going to be meeting at around 6.30 uh, as a conference to discuss next steps and hear from Speaker McCarthy uh, with respect to uh, what his intentions are. Uh, you know, I will continue to support him so long as he uh, chooses to, to run for speaker. Uh, but I think this is extremely unfortunate uh, that we're here. Uh, eight Republicans teamed up with all of the Democrats uh, that were in attendance to remove a Republican speaker. Uh, we have a House Republican majority elected by the American people to serve as a check and balance on Joe Biden, to rein in reckless, wasteful spending, and to fight to secure our border. Uh, and all of that work, all of that important work, has now been upended uh, by these eight selfish people uh, who joined up with the squad and Hakeem Jeffries uh, and the Democrats uh, to, frankly, upend the institution of the House and create a constitutional crisis. Congressman, a lot of this has been driven by the Florida Congressman Matt Gates. And when you hear people talk about potentially other speakers, Emmer, Scalise, McHenry, aren't those individuals very close to Speaker McCarthy? Wouldn't Matt Gates also take issue with them? Look, this whole thing was a personality conflict. It had nothing to do with policy, nothing to do with the way the House was being run, and everything to do with Matt Gates's hatred. Uh, of Kevin McCarthy. Uh, the fact that this was brought and that uh, Matt Gates teamed up with uh, AOC and Ilhan Omar and Rashida Tlaib uh, and Jamal Bowman to remove the Republican uh, speaker is shameful. It's disgusting. Uh, and uh, folks across the country should understand uh, that all the important work that this uh, 118th Congress has been engaged in that the House Republican majority has been pushing uh, has been undermined and uh, torpedoed uh, by a, a, a man who has no ethics, no morals, uh, and doesn't care uh, what destruction uh, he wreaks. Wow. Well, I'll tell you, Congressman, you have not minced words again when it comes to Matt Gates. You said last weekend on Sunday morning, I think what I just heard was a diatribe of delusional thinking. That diatribe worked, though, Congressman. What does that say about your conference in the U.S. House, and why would anyone ever want that job as Speaker? Well, it, wor it, it worked because House Democrats teamed up with Matt Gates, a man they've derided for uh, years who's under ethics investigation. Uh, so when Democrats say that they want to protect democracy, uh, that's a load of bunk. Uh, they literally just undermined our democracy. They undermined our institution by teaming up with a man who has no ethics or morals whatsoever. So people should remember that the next time they lecture everybody about democracy. Congressman, you're from New York. Your district is heavily Democratic as well. And right now, what your constituents are seeing is chaos within your party in Congress. How are you selling this back home? Look, I am here to govern. Uh, I was elected to serve uh, in a district that Joe Biden won by 10 points because I care deeply about the issues impacting the American people, from affordability to immigration to crime. Uh, policies that have been enacted by Joe Biden and a Democrat-controlled Congress and Governor Kathy Hochul and Eric Adams in New York that have made New Yorkers less safe, less free, uh, and, and made New York less affordable. And that is what I have been fighting against. It's why I have been down here for nine months working tirelessly uh, to advance our House Republican agenda. Uh, unfortunately, a handful of folks uh, have sought to upend that and undermine uh, the, the majority. We will work through this uh, in, in uh, the coming days. Uh, and hopefully, uh, you know, elect a speaker in short order so that we can get back to doing the work that the American people sent us here to do. Seventy five percent of the country thinks we're headed in the wrong direction. Voters trust Republicans to handle the economy by over 21 points. This isn't by accident. This is because Democratic policies have been an abject failure. Uh, but we need to yeah. get back to governing. We need to uh, restore order in the House. 
uh, and elect a speaker, and that's what I'm going to spend, uh, you know, the next hours and, and days doing uh, so that we can get back to this important work. Well, it's interesting you say that, Congressman, because Joe Biden won your district by 21 points. So what's the message uh, to the folks who are in New uh, York who will have a decision to make this election year when they're hearing about a chaos Congress, a, a Republican House that can't figure out how to keep a speaker? Uh, Joe Biden won my district by 10 points. Uh, but uh, look, I, I voters spoke in my district. Uh, they know who I am. They know what I stand for. Uh, they know I will continue to fight for them. Uh, and that's what I'm here to do. Uh, and we'll get back to the, the business of governing uh, in short order and focus on the issues that matter to the American people. I want to get a little bit more into policy since no one knows when potentially we'll have a new speaker. And I look forward to and thank you for giving us that time when your conference will meet at 6.30 p.m. this evening. Uh, what is going to happen with the Ukraine aid? President Biden today had a meeting with allies to say that he believes the United States will still be able to support Ukraine. Do you foresee that happening before uh, the government potentially shuts down again in mid-November? Look, obviously, this is one of the big issues that we have to deal with in the next uh, 42, 43 days, uh, inclusive of securing our border. Uh, and finalizing a long-term spending plan uh, for our government. Uh, you know, it's one of uh, a handful of very important issues that we have to deal with, and we will. Uh, but, you know, as, as I said in debate on Saturday, we can't shut down the American government on the American people uh, over foreign aid. It's important. I support uh, continuing aid to Ukraine. Uh, but if that is the, the uh, you know, uh, sticking point for Democrats on government funding, uh, and, and they're willing to shut down the American government over Ukraine, uh, I don't think that's acceptable to the American people. We need to secure our borders in this country. We're dealing with an absolute crisis at our southern border. Six million migrants have crossed into the United States, many of them illegally. Joe Biden has failed miserably uh, to deal with that crisis. Uh, it is impacting my home state of New York. Uh, and so there are a lot of issues that the American people expect us to deal with over the, the coming uh, month and a half. And, and that is my focus. Congressman, one of the enduring images of today will be Patrick McHenry slamming the gavel with what appeared to be all of the energy in his body. You were in the room for that. I wonder if he symbolized the way you felt. Uh, the only thing that I would have done differently is flung it in the direction of one person. <laughs> Uh, look, he absolutely epitomized uh, the frustrations of uh, the conference uh, and the American people. This is not what they elected uh, us to do, uh, to squabble, to, to fight amongst yeah. ourselves. They elected us to govern. Uh, and, Was that person uh, so from Florida you're suggesting? We need suggesting? to get, oh yeah, I would have hit him square between the eyes. But look, we need to get back to the business of the American people. Uh, and, and that's the focus now. So, uh, you know, we'll have our conference meeting at 6.30 and uh, see where we go.